Joining me now with more addiction treatment specialist and CEO of the Hills Treatment Center, Howard Samuels. Howard, you know, we always appreciate your your insight on this because I think for a lot of people, and myself included, it's tough to understand how you could be in a position where you're at the grocery store with your 18-month-old and you were so overwhelmed by this need to shoot up that you find yourself in the bathroom at the grocery store. How does that happen? Well, I, I got to say, Erica, I mean, unfortunately, it's very common. And as a recovering heroin addict, I used to do the same thing. I mean, you know, you would go and you cop your heroin. Now, when you're getting the drug, you're dope sick. You're going through intense withdrawal. So the minute that you get your heroin, you know, I'm not going to wait 45 minutes to get home to shoot it up. I'm going to find the nearest bathroom I can, lock the door, and do it there. And that's exactly what this mother did. So we talk so much about how this crisis, this epidemic, it, it knows no boundaries. Uh, right. It is affecting everyone in this country. And more and more we're seeing these stories out of the suburbs really hitting home with a lot of folks. You were able to beat this addiction. Yes. How do you do it? Well, first of all, you know, I, I uh, was arrested numerous times. I hit numerous bottoms. Uh, I spent almost three years of my li life locked up in treatment centers. But, you know, uh, at the age of 32, I finally hit a bottom. But that bottom included a solid 18 months in residential treatment. And see, that's exactly what has to happen here. We need to have government-sponsored built treatment centers that are locked down units where the addict cannot leave when they are arrested or they OD on heroin, they're caught, and they have to be in these centers for at least a year. Because it takes a year to get through the physical, the emotional bottoms and cravings that the addict goes through. So. You know, 15 days in, in my treatment center right now, all I'm getting from insurance companies is 15 to 20 inpatient days, Erica. So in you point treatment. out that doesn't work, but, but then on the other hand, Howard, who pays for that? Especially if you're saying it should be government mandated. Uh, we can't pay for We're not doing a very good job paying for much in this country, let's be honest. Well, put it this way. I mean, Trump came out with this national, national emergency, but there's no funding. Why can't we build these treatment centers instead of, you know, giving the money to pharmacies? Because that's really what's going on. The pharmacies have such lobbyists in Washington, D.C., that there is no money going for treatment. It's all going to, let's solve it with a pill, you know, Suboxone, which is not the answer. Mm. So we really need to get treatment, and these people need to be in treatment for at least a year, just like I was. It's not an accident that I spent 18 months in a lockdown facility, and here I am today, 33 years clean and sober, dedicating my life to helping people. Because that's really what it's all about. Helping one another. That's exactly. For, that's for sure. Howard Samuels, always appreciate your time. Thank you. You're welcome.